Hey my little angels and welcome back to another video you guys. So anyways, I'm making another fur outfit, of course, because I can. Um, and this time, I'm actually going to give you guys tips on how to basically fashion. I'm just going to give you tips on fashion, what you can do for your mouse, and how you can actually make it look good. In case some of you were struggling with that, so these are just my personal opinions. It doesn't affect anything. Other people have made wonderful furs by not even doing stuff that I've said. I've seen many good ones out there, but this is just like the personal like reference that I use. So I'm just going to give you tips from my point of view as we go along in this video. I would want to make the colors either match the fur or complement it well. With the Nico cat fur, I match the fur colors, while for this one, pastel colors would complement it, such as pastel blue, purple, greens, pinks. With perhaps some white, but stick to like one of these pastel colors maybe, and work with its shades. That's what I'd suggest. If you have a hand item, I would avoid mouth item, because like, they're usually big and would crowd the outfit. On this fur, because of the poofy tail, none of the tails which would hang down would look very nice, so it would not allow this fur to be appreciated well. So if you have the option, try going for one of the balloons or like butterfly or bird tail, any kind which will float above the fluffiness. Since this fur has big ears, a flatter hair would not look good, unless perhaps you have like a hat or something, or some head item to pair with it, which would not make the ears stand out too much. This fur also has the advantage that you can use bigger ear items, unlike the other furs, which make the ear item feel like way too big. So I decided to go with a slightly farm theme, keeping the hair the original, matching the fur color mostly, and accessorizing it with a pastel color. I used the second hair below it to make a unique hairstyle and blended the color to match the outer one so it looks like it is a one-of-a-kind hair. You can also do some stuff like that and experiment with different sets and combinations too. This is just an example for you guys. There are some typical items which can be used on all furs and makes them look super cute, but you see a lot of mice with those similar kind of outfits, so I'm trying to use lesser used items to make some nice looks. That's why you're seeing some variations of different stuff, like the tea kettle thing, I don't think many people use it, and Applejack's hair, I haven't seen many people use it either, so stuff like that. But yeah, those are a few of my tips for you. Let me know if you want any more tips, or you have any questions or anything else, leave them in the comments below. Meanwhile, enjoy! Hope it helped. Bye, guys. Kitty's out. As always, peace.